this video, what we'll be doing is using the blueprint or the level layout that we drew in the previous video and just create our level inside of Unreal Engine 4. We'll not create it, we're just going to block out the walls essentially so that we know the sizes that we want. So that said, what we're going to do is we're just going to launch Unreal. I have uh, version 4.13.1 installed at the current moment. And I'm going to create a first person or use the first person blueprint. And I'm just going to call this level design touch and click create. I didn't use any starter content, just essentially use the blueprint as is. And when it loads up, you get your default level layout. Um, we're not going to use this, so I'm just going to click new level and I'll use the default so that at least we have a sky already set up for ourselves and that should make it a little bit easier. So now you know that there is a floor and a um, player start location. So if I hit play, I can already play the game. But we're not going to uh, use this floor, so I'm just going to delete it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into, you'll see that you have options here. Um, so take note, I'll be going between um, basically the top and perspective uh, quite often now. So uh, what I'm going to do is then the keyboard shortcut is Alt-G and Alt-J. So if you push Alt-J, you go into the top view. If you push Alt-G, you go back into your perspective view. So I'm going to do Alt-J. And I'm going to then just on my um, basic shapes, I'm going to use a cube and I'm just going to drag it into the world. And from here, what I'm going to do is then just change its sizes. Now, note that um, Unreal has this little ruler on the left to tell you exactly what sizes everything is. So that's essentially, that's 10 meters. If you zoom in, oh, you get a estimation of what a meter is or 10 centimeters or so on. So um, for the level layout, what I think is uh, the X, I'm going to make 18. So that should be 18 meters. And then the Y, I'm going to do 0 0.5 because our walls are going to be essentially half a meter thick. And um, if we do it at one, it's a meter thick, and that's quite a thick wall. The Z, I'm going to set that to, let's say, six meters for now. And uh, if we just quickly want to test this out, let's just drag in another cube. And we're just going to set this one incredibly large, because this is going to be, okay, not 400, uh, our floor area. So... Let's just see what it looks like. Okay, that wall might be slightly too tall, but we'll see now. Um, if I hit play, where's the player start? I don't see it, so let's just hit play. There we go. So now imagine our level, um, the mirror's edge level that we saw before. Imagine coming into the room and that's the wall on the side. That wall looks okay. Uh, there's gonna be a slight gap over here and maybe a gap over here. So let's just see. Um, no, I believe that should be fine for now. So, so this is the process. What you're just going to do is keep on going in uh, to this, to your um, into Unreal and keep on dragging in items and then basically building out your level as it is here. For the time being, I'm going to ignore the doors. So let's say that essentially that this piece over here is with the doors included. The reason why I'm going to ignore the doors is because um, you can always cut that out and we're not really going to use it inside of Unreal or create a door inside of Unreal. We'll basically be creating it inside of Blender. So let's just um, carry on with the process. And we're just going to keep on creating our walls. So let's say the Y is going to be 0 0.5 this time and the scale. This one was 18, so I think I'm going to create this one as 14. Oops, 
So this is, should be the 0 0.5 and this should be the 14. There we go. And then we can just like drag everything. Now, as I said, bear in mind, this is just like a basic level block out. We're not going to stress too much about uh, positions or anything like that. So let's do that. And if we hit play now, Oh, I made these too, too tiny. So let's make them uh, six, there were six meters. There we go. And same with this, also six meters. If we play again, uh, uh, let's jump into the side view and we're just going to drag these up. Go for it. Play now. That should be okay. Let's just see. Is that that should be roughly the size? I believe that we can fit in a couch over here. Um, and just take note that the character at default walk speed is here seems slightly faster than the one inside of Mirror's Edge. Even though you can run in Mirror's Edge, it's a little bit different setup. Now, also that the roof um, had a went significantly higher but there were a lot of panels hanging from it so it made it seem that the roof is fairly low but while the roof, roof actually goes incredibly high so i believe that this is just our basic level block out so what we can do now is then just jump in here and we can just quickly check that okay we made like an outside area here as well so we can just try and copy those. So let's just jump back into the top view. I think we use this one. You can hold on Alt and you just drag and then we create that section. And Alt and drag and then we make that section. Uh, so here I am actually going to emphasize that there was a doorway over there. And we can maybe actually... A doorway should be about... Uh, I think in the game they're about two meters wide, I believe. Let's, so let's what what we'll do here is we'll reduce this to fourteen, and so that we have a doorway here and a doorway here, and then this one we are going to reduce to twelve, and then just drag it up so that it's in line with that one over there. So let's hit play again. Okay, and see if this section is large enough. Okay, I'm just going to insert a light here for now. You hold L and you insert the light. Um, I just actually want to see a little bit better. So let's see. There we go. Uh, two meters seem a bit tight. That can't be two meters. Let's let me just double check the size. Uh, do, do, do. Okay, well, I, I didn't take into account the size of the wall over here as well. So maybe if we move this one up, like that section, that should be about two meters. And this one, let's just check, this one is actually two meters. So. All right, so size is a, a little bit off. Um, so let's do this. Take both of these. I'll take this one and we're going to drag it out. This one, drag it out like so. And I'm not going to stress too much about this one. Let's make that 19. So it just kind of lines up and we'll try again. All right, so that seems quite big, significantly bigger than what it was. Uh, this section is going to be a bit tight, so we'll just enlarge that by um actually maybe reducing the size of this wall a little bit more so this is what you're going through when you're busy doing your uh, level block out you just like getting your average sizes right this is a three meter passage i believe it should actually be closer to a four meter passage and let's see okay, i'm much happier with this size much happier with that size 
this is okay it's a bit it's still smaller than that but it's okay and this passage is significantly larger so there we go and uh, okay I'm getting a lot of build errors actually just because I'm not building lighting I just actually want to see if I build lighting if everything will just look a little bit better um, so let's just wait for that to build Okay, so um, that's done. So we hit play. Now you see this uh, a lot of bounce lighting around, so everything looks much better. A strange shadow that it's creating there. That looks very weird. And I don't even see where that gap would. Okay, never mind. Uh, ignore the shadows for now. We're just like actually looking with the level. The, this section looks okay. Uh, remember that like this was a glass wall. This would have been where you come up the steps um, so we might actually just move this up a little bit so that there's like a, another uh, walkway for you to walk over there uh, but essentially everything looks good the level spacing looks all right uh, we can um, join all of these together and what we're going to do is then export it into uh, blender itself or import it into blender so once you are done with your level block out, so what I'm just going to do here is, I think I want to, I'm going to delete this one. I'm just going to copy this one. So selecting it, holding Alt and dragging it out. And then they should be like roughly on the same level, which is what I want. Uh, this one looks okay. I think I'm gonna move that up. This one I'm going to move over there and increase it by one meter so that it's roughly in line with that. So that's essentially all of my level items um, connected or uh, created. So I'm just going to select all of these by holding shift and left clicking. And then you click on file, you click on export selected and you give it a name i'm going to well this is on my desktop so i'm just going to create a new folder first and call it level design tut and i am going to export it as an fbx and i'm going to call it and let's call it level layout now there's a bunch of other options so you can do um, OBJs as well. As far as I know, if you do OBJs, it will export whatever texture you already apply to that. So it's handy, but as we're not really going to use this much, we're just going to use it as a basic size comparison. It's not really required. So export it as level layout, and then you're going to click save. Then we're going to jump over to Blender. And uh, we're getting very close to the end of this tutorial, so I'm just going to show you quickly what that did. So this is your default Blender startups scene. I haven't changed any scene properties or anything. This is as default as Blender can be when you're starting it up. And then I'm just going to click File, Import, FBX, going over to my desktop. And I'm going to go into the level layout and click Import. And there you go. All the sizes, if you hit uh, numpad 7 and numpad 5, you go into perspective. You have all the sizes and everything that you were busy creating inside of your um, Unreal level already set up for you. Everything looks okay. So uh, what you can do then here is if you just click this little tool, you can like check the sizes. And then all the sizes that we set before, like, there we go. Uh, 12 meters wide, 6 meters. These are all now converted into Blender units. So we're going to use this as our reference size. And then we're basically going to create items around this in the next tutorial for creation, um, for creating our level properly. So I um, hope you like what you saw. Leave a like, leave a comment. Please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.